Hi, this is Ken Corain with Machine Design Magazine. We're here with Bill Hewitson from Rulin Manufacturing. And he's going to tell us a bit about servo couplings for motion control applications. First type of coupling I'm going to talk about is a bellows coupling. And this is comprised of uh, two uh, metallic hubs that are either bonded or welded together with a metallic bellows. Uh, this is one of the higher performance types of couplings. It's very accurate in transmitting motion, has very good torque capability, and is a choice for most people who are looking for very precise uh, control of motion uh, in their applications. However, bellows couplings have a downfall in the fact that they cannot accommodate much misalignment. Uh, this means that if they are misapplied in instances where more misalignment uh, than is expected is actually encountered by it, then the bellows can fail very rapidly. Uh, these are very good high performance couplings as long as you can maintain your misalignment very well. So very good for precise applications. The next type of coupling I'll talk about is the Oldham coupling. Uh, this is a three piece coupling. It's comprised again of two metallic discs and a uh, polymer center section, uh, usually made out of various engineering materials such as nylon or delrin, although they can be metallic. Uh, this coupling uh, requires that you have bearing support on both ends because it floats freely and the three parts are not interconnected. Uh, it accommodates misalignment uh, by sliding the disc slide back and forth and the center of the uh, coupling, the plastic part, floats over the drive tenons of each hub. Uh, so it's very good in accommodating parallel misalignment and it maintains very low bearing loads even at high misalignment. The next type is also a three-piece type of coupling. That would be a zero backlash jaw coupling. These are different from your generic jaw couplings, which have straight jaws, and the, the center part, which is in the industry known as a spider, does not fit very tightly. So it's not, very, it's not zero backlash, so not suitable in motion control applications. Uh, so these are different. They are comprised of aluminum hubs, uh, as opposed to steel in the, in the standard jaw couplings and they have a curved jaw profile. So they help retain the spiders and keep them from being affected by centrifugal forces, uh, which helps them in their zero backlash and their torque carrying capabilities. The uh, next type is the disc coupling. Uh, there are two basic types of disc couplings. There's a single disc and a double disc style coupling. Uh, the single disc is only able to accommodate angular misalignment. It does not have any provision for parallel misalignment where the double disc can accommodate both angular and parallel as well as axial motion. Uh, disc couplings are again a very accurate type of coupling. They are on par with the bellows coupling as far as the top performers in the motion control style couplings. Uh, they also have an advantage of better misalignment capabilities. They are much more adaptable to shafts that are misaligned than bellows couplings are. Uh, so they have the advantages there. They do tend to be on the pricey side, uh, so unless customers really need the accuracy and the misalignment capabilities, they're usually better off going with a different type of coupling. The final type of coupling we're going to talk about is uh, beam couplings. Uh, these uh, come in many different types, uh, single beam and multiple beam. Uh, single beams are your economical choice. Uh, they are not especially accurate, but they do accommodate large amounts of misalignment and they're very economical uh, for the user. Uh, multiple beams offer shorter, stiffer beams. They give better performance, higher torque, better stiffness characteristics, so they're much more accurate coupling than the single beam. Uh, typically, these couplings are found in two materials, aluminum and stainless steel. Aluminum is the most common. Stainless is uh, available for larger torque capabilities and also customers who need washdown capabilities uh, for their application. Uh, a disadvantage of stainless steel, however, is the extra mass and consequently the extra inertia that's involved. So sometimes the benefit isn't there. You get the benefit of the extra torque, but you lose it with the extra inertia. Uh, in motion control systems, low inertia is extremely important.